When you think of Antarctica, the first thing that might come to mind are penguins, seals, whales, and icebergs. And yes, all those things are true. But do you know Antarctica is on average the coldest, windiest, and the driest of all continents on Earth? In this video, I will go over what to wear when exploring the southernmost continent. So when you're out there on your trip of a lifetime, either on a landing, kayaking, or even camping, you'll be comfortable and prepared without overpacking. I have also included links below down in the description of the gear I wore in this video. So let's begin. Starting off with base layers, I have this long sleeve that I would wear. This is a 32 degree brand long sleeve and it's from Costco. Next up for base layers is my long underwear. This is a Columbia brand. I also used another brand. Uh, it was again from Costco, the 32 degree brand. Both of these did great. On top of my long sleeve, I would wear the Panagonia R1 pullover. This is actually a men's small, but it works great. There's a women's version as well. Although it seems very thin, it puts out a lot of heat. Over my long underwear, I wore a pair of hiking pants. These are an REI brand hiking pant. Uh, I've had these for years. Uh, the reason I, why I brought them is that they're light, easy to move around in, which is really important for getting in and out of the Zodiac boats. They're also a looser pants, so it's just easy to put a pair of long underwear pants on and then the hiking pants over. Next up, I would put a pair of rain pants over all of my pants. These are brand are Marmot uh, Precip rain pants. And the reason why I wear rain pants is that going from the ship uh, to the shore on Zodiac boat, uh, tendency to get wet, water can splash up on you, as well as they're great um, for blocking the wind. Uh, these are something I already own living in Washington, uh, but they were a great addition over the long underwear and hiking pants. This is a mountain hardware jacket. Uh, it's a ghost whisper jacket, 800 fill down jacket. It compresses super small. It actually can fit into one of its pockets, so which makes it very compact for travel. It's also very light, just 6.6 .6 ounces. Most expedition cruise companies give you a jacket to keep. I received this Heli Hansen jacket that was a great shell that kept me warm and dry with all my layers underneath. Make sure that you choose a jacket that's a little bit larger than you what you normally wear. That way you can fit all your layers underneath. I wore wool socks. These are Kirkland brand of wool socks from Costco. I've had these for years and they've really held up. Only needed one pair of socks in my boots. Sometimes I'd wear a buff. This is a piece of cloth used to protect and keep your neck and face warm. For my ears, I mostly use this fleece ear warmer. I've had it for years and I love it, but sometimes I'd also wear a hat uh, that was fleece line, but a fleece or wool hat will do great. Uh, just change it up. I wear a pair of gloves. These are a head brand from Costco. The majority of the time I wear a pair of mittens. I'm a big fan of mittens. They keep your hands, fingers warmer than gloves. These are a pair of outdoor research brand called Adrenaline Mitts, and they're waterproof and very breathable as well. Depending on the weather that day, I would wear a baseball hat to protect myself uh, from the elements, especially the sun. Speaking of sun, don't forget your sunscreen. Chapstick with sunscreen is also super important as well. And of course, sunglasses. All right, so then you're almost completely set. Got the hands and the ear warmers. And about to put on the boots and life jacket. And uh, we'll be heading out. Most expedition companies give you a pair of boots to wear for your landings and cruises, which means one less thing to back. These boots are very similar to the Muck brand boots. They're waterproof and insulated, and you just wear them with a pair of socks. They fit very nicely, and my feet were never cold. Now you're all set to go explore. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below, and I'm happy to answer. If you like what you see in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe.